Hello, I'm Noel Chia. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of an alien invasion of our planet. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space. We go now to our reporter Libby in Wellington where alien spacecraft have landed near the Houses of Parliament. What can you tell us Libby? Thank you Amy, I am Libby reporting live from Lambton Quay where alien invaders calling, causing he chaos, havoc and pandemonium. There is panic and terror on the streets this morning as the people of New Zealand wake up to alien spacecraft have descended on the capital. There are also reports of alien agents throughout the town and cities of New Zealand. While it is unclear if we are actually under attack, these space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet, unless we give them what they want without hesitation. It seems they will not take no for an answer, and humankind will never be the same again. One thing that everybody should know is that there are so if Libby, are you there Libby? We appear to have lost our transmission. And now, in an e-news exclusive, an alien representative has taken over our television studio to issue the demands of the people of Earth. Standing by in our studio is Emily. Now, what's happening there? Well, yes, Abby, this terrifying alien thing said give us your studio or else, so we said okay then. But the atmosphere down here is very tense as we rely on the demands of these super beings which will decide the fate of the human race. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell very awful, like a mixture of smelly feet and sweat, and they have terrible manners. Ah, now it looks like the spoked alien is about to address humanity through this special translation device. Ah! People of Earth, please listen carefully. The superior beings of the planet, Ding Dong, from the galaxy of Blabin, demand from you puny humans the following things in no particular order. Number one, we want cookie dough ice cream. Number two, we want a Nintendo Wii. Number three, we want a cute Axolotl. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you all with our disintegrators. You have three days, that is all. Well, there you have it, the demands of the alien race upon which our lives depend. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? We'd like to hear your opinion. What does this terrifying event mean to you? Have you had a close encounter with an alien being? What are your thoughts on the uh, in, imminent demise? Um, email us at emergencyapocalypse.org and now the New Zealand government is preparing to issue a statement. Apparently the alien invasion began here in New Zealand because we are the first country on earth to greet the sun each morning and the first to begin each calendar day. These space invaders as it seems are on a schedule and so the world is watching to and waiting to see what happens. The way these events unfold here in New Zealand will have a deep impact for the entire planet. One false move from our government could doom the human race. So with such pressure on his shoulders, the New Zealand Prime Minister is about to greet the media. On location on the steps of the Beehive is our reporter Rudy with Prime Minister Duiji. Thanks Amy. Well, crowds of people are wandering around, mainly early commuters and people coming home from bars. They seem confused and a bit sleepy. I don't think they have any idea what's happened. Aliens have invaded. People wake up, be afraid. Wait, now I think I see the Prime Minister. Yes, he comes now to address the nation. <coughs> Tēnā koutou, people of New Zealand. This is your Prime Minister here and I would like to appeal to each and every one of you. It is extremely important that you do your best to make these powerful space aliens welcome and display our friendly welcome qualities as New Zealanders. We will be holding an official porphyry later today and I will personally invite the alien leaders to join me on a helicopter tour of the beautiful country. 
by showing off the clean green landscape we hope the superior beings will spare New Zealand from destruction and move to Australia. A government helpline has been set up to give advice on what to do if encountered one of these alien beings. We think the best thing to do is smile in a friendly manner then quickly run away. For more information on this government website go to www.alienvasion dot gofvt dot nz please do but please do the business as usual the buses will still run the rubbish will still be picked up the economy will still wait for no one that is all <laughs> well there we have it Thank you, Prime Minister, for those words of wisdom which are bound to stop people from panicking, looting and rioting. An alien invasion has the potential to unite the world as one, or it could destroy us all. We have, had, or we have already had some interesting feedback from our viewers who have some pretty strong opinions, most of them against the alien invasion. Ben of Raumati wrote, It all seems like a fake, like we're on the set of a movie. And Erica Collis from Porirua says, The aliens aren't real people. The actors are trying to brainwash us. So these hostile aliens are making unreasonable demands on the people of Earth. We have three days to give them what they want or we'll all be dead. My question is, where to from here? What do we know about these alien beings? Can we afford to ignore them? And where is the safest place for me to go after this news broadcast? We look forward to hearing more of your views on these and other matters and to help us answer these rather tricky questions we have a panel of alien experts in the studio to discuss the alien invasion and what you at home can do about it. Introducing Cameron, an alienologist, Rosalie who is a scientist for alien from Wellington and Devon, an invasion expert with a certificate in aliens. All right then, thanks. The plan I propose is that we shoot the aliens down with our best military-grade missiles, SLEN. When they crash down to Earth, we put we stuff them in an airlock, shoot them out into space, and bam, they're the sun's problem now. Obviously, that's completely foolish. What we should do is give them what they want, and who cares if we don't get cookie dough ice cream again? You two are dim-witted bumpkins, and I, um, and I think that we should st sneak into the spaceship and take over this whole operation. To do this, we will need a decoy. I propose one of those crazy scientists from before. Well, so much for the opinions of Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the havoc and mayhem that is happening up and down the country with Dylan and Amy. What's been happening, Dylan and Amy? Thank you. Let's have a look at what hap is what ha what's happening out there. Starting in the far north, there are reports of the alien creatures chasing sheep around the paddocks and downtown Kata has been overrun by fright the frightened flocks. In Auckland, there is a sense of fear and outrage at the aliens' attempts to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. The city council has asked the public to keep away from the downtown area. A cluster of invaders have been swimming, seen swimming in the boiling mud pools of Rotorua and showing under hot, showering under hot geysers. Locals say they are very rude tourists but that are unaware of any unusual alien smell. In Hawke's Bay, wineries have become the focus of some curious space invaders who have been seen guzzling vats of wine and passing out in the vineyards where toxic alien vomit is being cordoned off by police. Wellington has become a landing hotspot for the alien invaders. 
They are using the railway station and central bus terminal as a transit lounge where they can relax after a long space flight, get used to the Earth's atmosphere and refresh themselves in preparation for killing us all. There are maybe some disruption to train and bus services in the top of the South Island. People in Kaikoura. The people in Kaikoura are appealing to their wild population for support, believing that the sea creatures' size and intelligence could save us all. Little progress has been made so far due to a language barrier. Meanwhile... Confusion in regions in Canterbury where some where some alien invaders have been approached. The ca- regional cow community seeking an alliance based on the fact that both parties have four sum- stomachs. Nothing official has been announced so far. And, f- and finally, in Dunedin, several creatures have been spotted at the Spates Beer Factory the Cabaret Chocolate Factory and the Greggs Coffee Factory. The aliens are said to be extremely unstable and should not be approached. Well that's all from me. I'm going to go and hide in my basement so it's back to the news desk with Abby and Naomi. How are you going to spend your last days? Thanks Dylan and Amy. I'm going to go to Disneyland and pick out an ice cream. And I'm going to go into the bush and spend my last days with nature. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates and live reports as they come in. If you would like to keep up with our probable demise on webcam, just log on to our webpage and then click TV Studio forward slash alien evaporation. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying, strange and foul-smelling alien beings have mercy on us all. From the whole team at ENU, stay strong and good night. <laughs>